I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. <laughs> I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Yeah. Uh, I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got... you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accident. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to a quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The condo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. This is it. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, your strip club? Oh, yeah. 
That gun like him, he's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. I got the plan that pussy, you heard? Stop talking, asshole. You always talking about something. Shut Can up. you ask the DJ to play some horrorcore? Somebody fucked with my garden again last night. That's what I'm saying. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? Got it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. 
So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. Big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one. What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around two hundred million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But but it'll be my uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Come in, you there? All right, we're on a strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 1530. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. Like much. Hey, and security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. We're down on Alta Street, coming up on the back of the bank. I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No. Seriously, man. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was. Now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing! He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is sh 13.30, we're an hour down, two to go. He's changed, all right? He writes now, emails, he's educated himself inside, and he'll be a valuable part of the team. Why do you talk to Mike about it? I will. But I gotta talk to you, too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate.
Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Look, dog, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. My observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24... Be careful not to get too close to the prison! We'll trip an alarm! Good point! Don't want them jumpy for the breakout! Ah, yeah! Waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man! Those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but... I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess.
I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! So how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor get it done. Yeah, will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? Hey, well, there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't. Ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. Our time together. It's very important. I have to go. 